Good morning. Seven o'clock. Fucking muscle pain from running two days in a row. But I'm gonna do a third. I'm gonna see how I can pull it off. And uh, I think once I get started, the leg starts loosening up a bit. And I felt amazing yesterday. I felt full of energy until like I went to bed. So that's a good thing. One hour, podcast on Tim Ferriss probably, and go. took me half an hour to get out of bed and actually start running so that's a big big improvement I have to make but we're ready now and I'm not going for the 10k I'm going for the one hour and 10 15 minutes one hour and 15 minutes let's say that because if I do that then automatically I would reach the 10k but the goal is not to go as fast as possible the goal is to last as long as possible good morning good morning Good morning. Good morning. Hey, yeah. But before we go, drink one of these. I didn't plan on filming because I wanted to reach my 10K goal within the hour, but that looks fucking amazing. And it is one hour later, well, a bit more, one hour and five minutes or so. And I made it 10 kilometers within an hour. I was 10 kilometers and 100 meters in one, at the one hour mark. So I'm super, super happy about that. Oh my God. These shoes and the long runs, they kill my feet. I'm really not used to it. I have pain and blisters and I don't wanna keep them on longer. I wanna let them air out a little bit. So I'm probably gonna do the dog walk bare feet. And I don't know if you guys are a little bit like into spirituality and all these type of things, but some people claim that it's really, really good to walk in the forest on bare feet because you're connecting to nature and it gives you really positive energies. And the fact that we are so disconnected from nature. And I mean, when you think about it, actually, it's quite logical if you think about it, is that in the past we were all always walking bare feet because there were no shoes yet. So naturally human beings might have been designed to connect to nature more. Now we take out all of this. We're all only technology, electricity, uh, materials that we took from the earth, but we're never really connected to the earth. What's the last time that you stood bare feet in the grass? What's the last time you just sat down in a park, laying on the grass, taking in the sunset, enjoying the full moment? I mean these things this connection to nature is lost because we're living in an age of information and everybody has fomo hashtag fomo fear of missing out and that's the biggest thing you know just think about this theory and today's might be a little bit of an informative vlog i don't know yet where this is going but think about this theory if from 1300 to 1400 it took 100 years to double all information in the world and today it takes 11 hours. It's impossible for you to watch every little thing. It's impossible for you to follow the people you want to follow. So if you, all, if you put all your time into following these people, reading their books, doing their things, what is happening to your own time? Like, when are you conscient? When are you putting attention to your girlfriend? When are you paying attention to your family? When are you paying attention to the friends that you want? How much time do you invest in the friends that you want that will be there for you when the internet breaks and collapses? Because right now I've got a lot of people following me on Facebook, on YouTube and all these channels. But, and for the record, uh, having, I don't have millions of followers. Like I have a few hundred of followers and Imagining a hundred people in a room, that's a lot of people too, that, that are following you. Like people lose sight of, you know, they want numbers. They think about buying numbers, etc. But if people don't consume your content, the number of followers are worthless. So 
I've got a lot of followers. To me, having 10 people or 20 people or 30 people following me and the things I'm saying and the things I'm doing and they gaining value from that, to me, that sounds like a lot of followers. So you have to be super grateful for the fact that people are putting their attention into your efforts and consider the thing that you bring value to their day. Because if you don't look at it this way, I mean, it might be really demotivating to look that it takes a year to build up a following of 100 people. But if in a year you build a following of 100 people, for a lot of people, that's more than they would ever achieve without the internet ever being possible. And you don't even follow 100 people. So it's really cool that to do that and to be there and help and provide value. But be grateful for the fact that people are actually watching the things that you promote. Because right again now, I do this ramble. I don't know if I'm going to cut it or not. But it's a 3 minute 37 ramble already. So what it comes down to is that if you want to follow everybody and if you have fear of missing out, then try to get it in your head that it's impossible to follow everyone. And if you want to follow everyone, like look at the amount of value Gary Vaynerchuk provides. If you want, you can wake up and go to sleep every single day and watch Gary Vayner stuff, Gary Vaynerchuk stuff on different platforms that you never watched before. But is this really gonna help you move forward in life? Is this really going to help you become a better human being? Is this really gonna help you approve? Yes, it might if you do it for a month and absorb the information, the knowledge. But in the end, he's repeating the same thing over and over and over again. It's like a soap series. I mean, it's good because it's his life and it's the hustle. That's what the definition of hustle. Finding your one thing, then doing that over and over and over again until it becomes independently uh, successful. That's what entrepreneurship is about. That's the hustle. So watch Gary Vaynerchuk, move on to the next guy. Set a set time and control the why on the why you grab your phone, why you go on YouTube, why you do this. Don't just go to entertain yourself because if you want to achieve something in life, you have to do something. It's as simply as that. Definitely one of my favorite fruits. What is your favorite fruit? So this is a little test to see if the camera is still working because I was in the shower and I love to listen to music, but the phone dropped from really high to really low. And the sound doesn't work anymore on the speaker. And in the phone when I'm calling, it's also not really good anymore. I got a phone call while being in the shower from an Indian company asking if I wanted to do some web services with them. They found my name because I registered it and it's not private. So then you get a lot of emails, a lot of stalking. I have to look for something to make it more private, but GoDaddy asks a ridiculous fee. And I know there are other sites out there that don't charge anything and still make it private. I think it should be normal and standard. Anyway, right now did two vlogs already, five more to go. And hopefully this one is recorded as well and this is the icon you know, that we can use um what i imagine here is like um spotify when they use their icon so i think um icon will also be a great addition so you know i just really use the eye and you can just use it alone as a logo just got off the phone one hour phone call with my designer uh we're getting better and better working together it's fun getting to know people over a distance and Maybe they even open up more because they don't really know you personally, so they can be themselves directly more. I don't know, but I like working with people overseas and communicating with them. Although I have to say, I think I will prefer to run an agency and have actually people there, physical people, build a relationship, build a connection and do more like that. So it's going both ways, but I enjoy the freedom that I have right now as well. So. I don't know what I'm going to do in the future. Uh, we'll see, time will tell. So for dinner, for dinner there is pasta with tomatoes. I totally forgot to print it out her booking trip because the stupid, stupid website of 
I know Ryanair, I think. Uh, doesn't allow for the check-in. I tried three times already, but then I forgot to call. So I still have to do that because tomorrow she's flying and she can't do it on her phone because their website also doesn't work on their phone. So that's not very user friendly. Um, got a lot of things today done today. I still need two more vlogs in the end. They take more time and I can only stay focused for X amount of time. And then I just break down. I don't know, it's because the running, I guess, uh, the energy level goes down. But overall, my energy levels are up. And uh, I hope this uh, delicious pasta is going to help me so I can run tomorrow. If not, I'll do yoga and uh, maybe some meditation and try to get into that a little bit more. Uh, at least have some morning activities. And then the rest of tomorrow, I have to clean the house because it's a mess and I would like it to be really nice when Elatsa comes home. So uh, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching this vlog. This is the end. See you tomorrow.